Hey, it's Ben the Coin Geek, and today we're going to talk about grading ancients. Thanks to this question from Mr. Monkey Swag 96 uh, that talks about ancients. Um, he wants to know, um, well, he states that most notably ancient collectors hate slabs. Uh, that's because they resent NGC for imposing the Sheldon scale on ancient coins. Traditionally, ancient coins were graded on a different scale from U.S. coins. In addition, NGC does not guarantee the authenticity of ancient coins. Ancient numismatics is an academic field in which collectors are historians and expected to read Greek and Latin or Latin. Hence why ancient collectors believe slabs are unnecessary. What is your view on the ancient coin hobby and what is your view on slabbing ancients? Thanks so much for the question. Um, I love it. And I have lots of opinions about ancient coins and grading them. If I go down your letter one thing at a time, uh, the first thing you mentioned is that people who collect ancients uh, actually use a different grading system. I'm going to take out my Macmillan Encyclopedic Dictionary of Numismatics by Richard Doughty. Whoops, sorry about that. And we're going to look at um, what the Sheldon scale is. You'll find in here that uh, Dr. William H. Sheldon is named uh, and credited for putting together a 70-point grading scale. So, but before that, there was the just the verbal grading scale. And ancient collectors have for a long time had a verbal grading scale. One of the things that you'll notice is actually NGC does not use the Sheldon scale when it certifies ancients. It actually uses only the verbal scale. Uh, I can't tell you who's offended and not offended by the scale systems and grading coins. I know that there are ancient collectors who, when uh, ancients first started getting graded, they were opposed, but there are plenty of people who were opposed to U.S. coins getting graded when slabs first came out. And, you know, there's arguments on both sides of that we can talk about later. So the ancient collectors, I understand them wanting, they want to be able to hold the coin and see the coin and feel the coin. Uh, they don't like these big holders uh, getting in the way of that. And also, just in a sense of authenticating something, if you're holding it and feeling it is very different. Like if you get gold bars and they're in those big plastic cases, they're actually a lot harder to authenticate because there's all this cumbersome material in the way. So you'll see on, of course, uh, most graded coins, uh, the U.S. variety, there is actually the Sheldon scale, which means it's going to say 65 or 53 or 64. It's going to be very specific. Uh, unless, of course, it's noting something like corrosion, in which case uh, it's just going to give a details grade. And uh, both NGC and PCGS do that. So as far as uh, NGC not guaranteeing ancients, uh, what they say is that they only certify coins that they believe to be genuine. And yes, they do not have the same, the same uh, guarantee that they have for U.S. coins. And there's a good reason for that, and that is because it's harder to authenticate and there are disagreements. You can take the same coin to a number of leading experts and they will give you different responses as to whether a coin, an ancient coin especially, is original or authentic or if it is a counterfeit from the time period. In other words, it can be 2,000 years old. So it's not that simple of a concept to put together. Uh, and there will always be disagreements, right, in grading. Uh, U.S. coins or world coins or ancient coins. There will always be differences of opinion. Uh, I think a lot of people collect because of history. So you collect U.S. coins because you love the history. Uh, I think it's fair to say that a lot of uh, ancient collectors were born out of an educational system where they were taking Greek and uh, Roman history, and they probably learned the languages. It was probably a part of their traditional uh, college experience 150 years ago. So there's some truth to, truth to that. Having said that, 
most people in it that I know who collect coins, they like history in general. Uh, they like ancient history a little bit. They might not know all of it, but they know Julius Caesar. They might know who Spartacus is. They might know, uh, you know, different different specific uh, happenings from a historical context. Uh, and so they've always been reluctant to get into ancients because of that language barrier that you mentioned. Do I need to know uh, Latin? I mean, do I need to be able to read that at the bottom there? Do I need to know what that says? Or do I need to learn Greek? Now that'll be even harder, right? What do these little Greek letters mean? Well, there's good books to help you out there, but this is where I think that grading uh, ancients is actually going to not only save the ancient market, not that it needed saving, but it's actually going to bolster it. Here's why. Before, if all these coins were just in front of you raw, and you didn't collect ancients, you'd have no idea what was what was sitting here. You might say, that is a cool ancient coin, I don't know anything about it. Now, look at the label. You can tell where the coin is from, what time period it's from, what's on the coin, and they give you a grade. And one thing I want to point out, you'll see this just has the normal uh, named grade. And then this coin here, they actually also put down uh, a strike quality and a surface quality. These are things that I love about ancients that I think should come to the U.S. coin grading system. I think that uh, NGC and PC Jesters both prosper from this, so they shouldn't be against it. Because there's a lot more that goes into a coin than just this grade here, right? Uh, what is the surface quality? Uh, what is the strike? Those are very specific to ancient coins, but similar things can be done on U.S. coins. We'll talk about that another time. I actually think that uh, slabbing is great for the hobby. I think that uh, more and more people will collect ancients uh, because it's easier to collect. You can simply look at it and know what's there. I don't know the future on any of the coin market or coin hobbies. I do happen to think that ancient coins will go up in time and value. Uh, I don't generally speak of collecting as an investment. To me, collecting is always a hobby first, and it always should be a hobby first. But as more and more people realize, hey, I can collect ancient coins, it's not that difficult, then more and more people will start collecting. So, thanks so much, Mr. Monkey Swag 96 for your question. I appreciate it very much, and we'll make some more videos. This has been The Coin Geek. Please subscribe, and like, and follow me also on Instagram.